Hey everybody, the old captain here. We're gonna do an original video because it just dawned on me. I, I had gotten I was on the Twitter feeds and the then the Google searches and the 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 Snapchatties or whatever the hell they call it. And there was like this uh, Twitter kerfuffle going on between Kurt Eichenwald. Oh, I didn't fucking who the fuck is that? And Julian Assange. And it dawned on me like I, I didn't know who the people were like. Until CNN fake news and the blackmail came out, I didn't know who was heading up CNN, who heads up the New York Times, who heads up Newsweek. And it's kind of like, you know, we're all kind of normies and, and sheep and plebes here. Well, Newsweek came out with this, and U.S. Day came out with suck our dick. And I'm like, well, then who is in charge of these entities? And even I, uh, at the age of 42, this is just something I realized in the past 48 hours, I would think like, ah, eh, you know, with billions of dollars at stake, they gotta have like somebody smart at the head of these organizations. You can't be fucking around. You can't be an ideologue. Yeah, and but then, then I remembered when I was thirty. Then I remembered <clears throat> just what a bunch of incompetent fucking cocksucking douchebags were in charge of banks. Just I mean, and and that was like the lit. You guys say, oh, <clears throat> you know, how did you become so into it? It was. It was the housing crash that made me realize it doesn't matter how old these people are. It doesn't matter that they're CEOs. It doesn't matter what corporation they're in charge of. Shit, look at Marissa Meyer. These people are assholes. And worse than that, they're incompetent fucking douchebags. So when I saw the Twitter war occurring between Kirk Eichenwald and Julian Assange, I'm like, I got to look into this Kurt guy because we all know who Julian Assange is. But we don't know who this guy is who fucking shoves his fucking penis right in front of our faces over at the dentist's office. Ah, Newsweek, well, I guess I'll fucking read. And I remember as a kid, Newsweek, that oh, well, was pretty kind of almost important. It was almost as quality as the economist, I guess. You don't know. You don't know. So I thought, let's look up Kurt Eichenwald and see who this fucking faggot is. Kurt Eichenwald. 1961, baby boomer, fuck. Uh, American journalist who serves as a senior writer of Newsweek, contributing editor of Vanity Fair, and the New York Times bestselling author of four books, one of which, The Informant, 2000, was made into a motion picture in 2009. He was formerly a writer and investigative reporter for the New York Times, and later with Condé Nast Business Magazine Portfolio. Eichenwald has been employed by the New York Times since 1986 and primarily covered Wall Street and corporate topics such as insider training, accounting scandals, and takeovers. But also wrote about a range of issues including terrorism, the Bill Clinton pardon controversy, federal health care policy, and sexual predators on the, in, uh, on the internet. So let's do a little clarity test on this guy, shall we? Um, early life. Episcopalian with a Jewish father. Uh, graduated St. Mark's School of Texas. That sounds private. His extracurricular activities at Swarthmore. Dude, does that ever get more wasp? Swarthmore. I went to Swarthmore. Fine member of 16 Feet, a capella vocal octet. Hey, ladies, look out. His, his first month of constant concussion, which would soon be followed by no epileptic seizures, diagnosed with epilepsy. His freshman year continued to attend school despite grand mal seizure. After having two outdoor seizures on campus, he was dismissed from Swarthmore in apparent violation of federal law. I um, wonder who authored this one. Degree in political science! Aha! A degree in political science, so he's a lazy fuck. He didn't ever want to work. 83, worked at Washington Monthly. Returned to the New York Times. 86, rival Wall Street, white collar criminal investigations and finance. Salmon Brothers, KKR. 95, began writing a sort of corporate misdeeds, multi part series. So, 98. Enron, I'm glad you covered that in WorldCom and Arthur Anderson. Good. And that was Portfolio of NFR Weekly, Newsweek, and on. On January 25th, 2017, Sputnik News Ag Agency weekend editor Bill Moran filed a lawsuit against Newsweek alleging that Ike Wall fabricated two articles. Dear Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin, I am not Sidney Blumenthal. And how I got slimed by a Russian propaganda site Sputnik. <clears throat> Claiming that Moran colluded with Russia and the Trump campaign, campaign and when confronted by Moran about these two articles, Ike Wall allegedly Offer Moran a job to stay quiet and warn him if you go public, you'll regret it. On uh, July 21st, 2017, the lawsuit was settled by Moran, to Moran's satisfaction. 
Do you do do you do? Ba de ba ba de ba 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 de ba ba da ba ba. I am not gonna mention the family because we're not gonna bring family into this. Uh, <clears throat> here's the deal. Um, why? This is this is where I wish we'd actually have a real media. We'd actually have a real fourth branch of government. <clears throat> Eichenwald is a spoiled little brat. He majored in political science. He had no, like, like pretty much every journalism major, <clears throat> like every quote journalist today, and that's that's disparaging to the term. This guy had no intention of working a real job in his entire life. I would like to see journalism where there'd be like, oh, this guy did 20 years in the military and he served in Iraq and he got shot. And then he decided to be, start writing. He's a pretty good writer, and I uh, just had the 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 desire for search and truth. The problem I have with Eichenwald is that he's an ideologue, like all of them are. He decided to major in political science, and right there, that tells you he was a lazy fuck from the get go. And if you look at his career, I know it's in journalism, and it's a real career in journalism. But journalism isn't a real career. So why the fuck would you listen to this guy? Like, I, you want to believe... Look, media is very important. We want it to keep an eye on government. We want to keep an eye on our legislators, you know, our, the authorities. It really is a very vital and important thing. But leftists and just, just this assembly line of moronic political science, journalism, touchy-feely, liberal art, leftist majors are lining up to suck the dick of the government. They're not truly independent-minded people. This guy has been in a fucking echo chamber his entire life. He has no fucking ability. I'm not even saying, I don't think it's not vicious or mean or malicious on his part. He has no ability to be impartial. All he knows is, I'm going to live off daddy, and oh my god, the government should give us more money. This guy has no no real world working experience. Because journalism isn't a real job. If you did it right, I'd say it was. You know, if you're all Citizen Kane, fine, never saw the movie, it sounds right, but let's just go with that. But this, this guy made it to the head of Newsweek. And never slung mud, never worked as a waiter never was a flight attendant, never did anything normal. Not one of us normal people. Not, not a commoner, not a plebe. Just a, well, I'm going to wick my political science majoring dick out, and I think I should think things because I think things, and I just, what? What do you, what did you want to, uh, you were born 61, so you weren't going to go in uh, uh, Vietnam. I, I, I just... This is, you look at him, he's a schmuck. He's a fucking schmuck. Just look at this guy. Go look him up. Why would you, see, that's the whole point why I want to do this video. It proves to you, Newsweek, New York Times, USA Today, if these are the fucking cocksuckers, who's the fucking douchebag in charge of CNN? Who's CNN's CEO? Head of CNN. Jeff Zucker. Let's do this guy while we're at it. Jeff Zucker. Uh, why is everybody bald? Hang on, Jeff Zucker. I mean, let's just let's just pull this guy up while we're while we're at it. Early life and education. I guarantee you, he was in shoveling shit like I did when I was young. Zucker born into a Jewish family in Homestead, Florida, near Miami's father. Matthew was a cardiologist. His mother in line a school teacher. He got fucking money coming out of your ass. Oh, he's the captain of the tennis team with hit the balls back and forth with a racket. Editor of the school news newspaper, teenage freelancer. Okay, so like he had no no desire to work a real job either. Tennis isn't a fucking sport. Don't fucking tell me about fucking Vanessa. Will I know, I know. It's a producer of the Today Show who's not admitted in the Harvard Law. Uh, he graduated from North Miami, and uh, so he went to school, journalism. Went on Harvard University, president of Harvard Crimson. Bachelor's of Arts in American History. I'm so lazy. I don't want to do the math. Why do you trust these people? Why?
Jeffrey Zucker and uh, who's the other guy we're talking about? Hang on. Yeah, yeah, getting back. Yeah, Kirk Eichenwald. Why do you trust these people? See, if these are the head, look. General Eisenhower retires and heads up CNN. Oh, well, fuck, I might pay you fuck attention to that. Uh, 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 you know, Terrence Pop decides to head up uh, uh, Newsweek. Well, I might fucking pay attention to that. Lame ass, spoiled brat, dick sucking, cock mother sucking, foiled, spoiled brat pieces of shit pussies from the suburbs who mommy and daddy pamper their asses so they get degrees in journalism, political science. They go lecture you what to think. Do you actually think these entities, these institutions, these fourth branches, they're not fourth branches of government. They're just compliant. They're just arms of the Democrat Party now. These are the most pathetic men. I mean, I mean, it has something to do with me and politics disagreeing with them. They're pathetic men. They're losers. They're weak. They never worked a real fucking job in their lives. They don't know anything. Except that I like take more. Ah, daddy, give me money. They're fucking pussies. So I have, I, I calls in the, the entire question of their entire organizations. Newsweek, USA Today. I get, maybe, maybe this is something I could do. Maybe I could go like take a look at all the CEOs of the different, you know, we could look at USA Today. We could look at New York Times. We could look at Vanity Fair. Do I really have to? Do I really have to? Because if you're, you're the head of a media outlet, you're not a real man. You're not a real woman. You didn't work any real jobs. You were a spoiled little fucking baby boomer cunt from the olden days where mommy and daddy paid your way through school. You majored in easy motherfucking shit and you had the arrogance and the cockiness to think that you're going to tell other people how to think. And Eichenwald and uh, Zucker... Uh, two epitomies, two perfect, like, look at this guy, look at this schmuck. You, it's the last guy you'd pick for kickball. This guy wouldn't cover year six. This guy, you wouldn't, what, what the, just look him up for fucking God's sake. I, I know it's petty and cheap, but please start looking into the heads of these different news media outlets and look at them. Look at them say, oh shit, that's the guy in charge of this crap. That's the woman in charge of this shit. Say, do I want to breed with that? Fuck no. It just, just look at them. And, and then you'll start to realize how pointless and worthless, genuinely worthless, most media in America is. I mean, we can say fake news or whatever, but it, it's not fake news. It's worthless news. It's biased, worthless propaganda. I mean, oh, we all go make fun of the Inquirer, ha ha, look at the people re picking up the Inquirer for bad boy, ha ha. You think this is any different? You think the schmuck and fucking uh, Zucker? You think these fucking cocksuckers with their lame-ass pathetic backgrounds? These worthless fucking pussies? You think they're going to give you real news? I, it, it just, look, right off CNN, right off Newsweek, Thank God for the fucking internet and thank God for government databases that haven't been corrupted too much to my extent of knowledge yet. Right? But this is, I just want to point, I wanted to use Kurt as an example, as, a, as, the, uh, as the demonstrative piece. Like, hey, you believe this cocksucker. You guys who read Newsweek actually believe this fucking moron. And if you look up Zucker, holy fuck, he's even worse than this guy. Zucker is just, he's just a piece of shit propaganda spoiled brat cunt. Little suburbanite cunt sucking on daddy's dick. Oh my god, daddy, I need more money. These, it's worth it. Throw it all away. And thank God, thank God we got the internet. Thank God there's like some evidence of reason and dissenting opinion can come along. But my God, if you, you want to talk about Newsweek, yeah, week with an A. Uh, Totally. Totally. And, uh, yeah, uh, hey, Kurt, you and Jeff Zucker could go fucking hit the gym, and if he actually looked manly, then maybe, maybe I'm like, oh, well, at least he hit the gym. Well, that'd be too much work now, wouldn't it? It might be like being in journalism. Journalism majors, really. I just think, I just feel. Oh, my God, did you hate Reagan? Were you guys, like, totally against Reagan? Oh, wow, Reagan. He just, he's just such an evil bad man. Why? Because he has hair. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what it is. You guys are balder than fuck.
Reagan had a nice mane. Reagan did have a nice mane till he was dead. All right, I just want to point it out. You guys want to go, hey, figure, yeah, you're right. You should know where your news comes from. Look at the source. Then look at who's the head of the source. And then look at their backgrounds to find out, ah, do I trust these spoiled little pampered baby asses? Mm, probably not. I, I, you, I, even if you're leftist, you hate to admit it. You hate to admit it. You trust me, though, before you trust these guys. Because I, I ain't going to lie to you. I'd fucking tell you how it is. These guys... They've always, they've always had an angle. They've always had an angle. It's because of their laziness. All right, that's it. We'll see you kids later. Toodles.